Well, I asked, you, I asked do you have any identification? Oh, sir, I'm going to ask that you de-escalate. You're trying to bait him. I'm to not trying to yes, bait him. You're trying to bait him. He's trying to bait now, me. You got to thank your boss. He saved you. No, he didn't save me either. He saved you. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we are at the Glasgow Police Department here in Kentucky. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's take a look around back. Take a look at the uh, police vehicles. Looks like there's a detective over there. So that's a public safety vehicle over here. You see they're checking me out over there. <laughs> public safety. What else? Police vehicle. Animal control. Animal control. How's it going, brother? Hey, how are you? I'm well. Is that something I can help you with or you just check out the cars? Uh, can I get your name and badge? I don't have a badge. Your name? Guy. And who are you? And your name and badge number, sir? Well, I asked, you, I asked do you. Do you have any identification? Well, sir, I'm going to ask that you de escalate. Okay, the thing we, I'm talking about, you're on private property. Right I'm not now. on pop private property. Okay, well, yeah, this is public. Yeah, okay. This is public property, sir. Chief. Can I get your name and badge number? My name is Officer Claywell. And your badge number, Officer Claywell? 22. Great, thank you. We were just wondering because you're walking in between vehicles that there's a lot of stuff been going on. With Are people you, messing around with vehicles. People have been messing around with your vehicles? Yeah. Really? Yes. Well, brother, I, I've seen your, your little podcast thing, so I knew who you are. What podcast? Don't, don't a podcast. you do a podcast? No, oh, I don't have a podcast. No. It, you're, you're a detective? <clears throat> yes, I am. Okay. You have to calm down, okay? He is, he is calm. The, no, Please he wasn't calm. calm down. He wasn't, he wasn't you, calm. I, I know you... I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to even talk to you. You can, I don't want you want to talk to you. I don't even want to talk to you. When you're walking around police vehicles. Uh-huh. These are public vehicles. I'm yeah, just checking them out. Yeah, public vehicles when we're on public property and you're allowed to be back here. But we have to be concerned about you doing something to the vehicles. I mean, I guess that's Because it's not normal if somebody comes back here and just to do what you're doing, right? No, I'm just, I'm just checking out the vehicles. That's all I'm doing. All right. Well, that's, that's what we're, we're checking you out to make sure you're not going to come over here and do anything to the vehicle. Sir, I got no problem with you checking me out. My mm -hmm. issue is is when officers come up to me trying to escalate a situation. How does somebody ask you? I, show, I ask you how you're doing. And no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying you, sir. I'm saying the officer here that came up, where's your ID? Give me your ID. You're on private property. This is not private property, sir. Okay. You need to calm down. You need down. to leave the property. That's it. You can't trespass me from public property, yeah. sir. You're on right here around this is, vehicles. This is taxpayer property, sir. I'm not doing, I'm not breaking any laws. This is a constitutionally protected activity, sir. Okay. He's a, he's a, you're, you took you an oath. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I got it. You go ahead and take it then. I appreciate it. I but I'll stand right here. Ta okay. That's probably the best move for your department and your city, sir. Honestly. Please I'm not, I don't want to, you don't guys can go. To him. I'm not, I, how is that talking down to him, you're, sir? You're, you're, you're trying I'm to saying bait that's him. the best move. You're trying to bait him. I'm not trying you. to yes, bait him. You're trying to bait him. He's trying to bait now, me. <laughs> if there's something that we can help you with, please let us know. Okay, but great. If you're back here alone by patrol cars, yes, we're going to be concerned about Literally you being back here concerned. by yourself. Uh, be concerned. 
Okay, I understand. I understand your concern, sir. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a concern. I'm mm -hmm. saying there's a way, like the way you're handling it now, there's a way to handle your concern, mm -hmm. right? And that's why everybody's safe and everybody, you know, there's there's well, no there's no I issues. I introduced myself. My name was Guy. What was your name again? My first name's Sean. Sean? It's nice to meet you, Sean. Is nice to meet you, too. Is something we can do for you? No, I don't need any help at the moment. Thank you. I appreciate well, that. While you're back here, we're going to stand over here and we're going to yeah. watch you and make sure you don't do nothing. That's we also are on cameras here. That is that is completely fine. All right. Just don't, Detective don't, Guy. Don't, don't turk out. Detective Guy, turk out. Please don't touch another vehicles, okay? Okay. I, I will not. All right. All righty. Take care now. Let's be thankful for Detective Guy over here. <laughs> you gotta thank your boss. He saved you. And you. No, he didn't save me either. He no. saved you. No way. No. Go play your game somewhere else. No, no, no. That's not how you treat the public, sir. I'm telling you right now, it's not how you treat the public. Sure so, it's so it's so it's so yeah it's so funny that's the thing a camera doesn't lie right the camera doesn't lie that's right it doesn't it doesn't lie there is there is no there is no way i can paint it right they're gonna see me talking they're gonna see you talking but they're also and they're and they're going to judge and they're gonna judge us based on our actions well the camera too also doesn't pick up everybody's perspective especially when you from sight and the way you have to move it or you move so well no i'm looking i, I was where, where was i pointing the camera when you guys came up to me Right, right at, right at the cars, right. Yeah. That's that's well, what I was doing. Taking photos of the vehicles. Because I'm a journalist. That's what I do. Okay. I go and I show different vehicles of different police departments. The, the departments. I check out the tires. Make sure you guys are keeping them up to date. That can be taken through through records department. Through records. Yes. Yeah. But sir, all, all I would ask you is that, as a member of law enforcement and a public servant, you shouldn't come. You should not come up to people aggressive like you did the sir. thing is you shouldn't be in the, this area i am i am in this area because the fact is when you're walking around ve public safety vehicles with everything that's going on i hear that a lot exactly there's always a lot of stuff going so, on so i mean the best <laughs> thing to do is don't okay with everything that's going on, I think you would be safer, officer, if you didn't come up to somebody, where's your ID, get off my property, right? Exactly. And so you would be safer because you don't know me. I could be in a, I'm a nice guy, luckily that's for you. That's just it. I don't know Exactly. You. But luckily as for you, I'm a nice know, guy. You could be on the FBI's most wanted list. I understand I that. Know. So I understand that. I understand the climate, the way law enforcement is being looked at right now and that all the attacks. Oh, I think that would go both ways, sir. I, I, I don't, I don't want to bring up, see, and that's the thing. So you're trying to paint the narrative that, you know, law enforcement. I can paint the narrative that well, I don't have to paint the narrative if you um, just read the paper or see the you could watch You could watch well, the news please. about people being, well, you know, killed and people being, killed you by know, who? by police officers. That, um, that's way more in the news. That happens way more than police officers die. Look at the st statistics. Uh, I, I have way more chance of dying by you than you do by me. I 100%. Hope I hope that's not true. I would hope that's not true as well. But I'm talking about you're bringing up statistics. I'm going to bring up statistics. That's all. I got to get out of here. Hi, how are you, ma'am? I'm good. How are you? Good. Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, my name is Captain Ashley Jones. Captain. There's a sign right here. Where's and that I sign? I can show you if you want to go look at it. Sure, I'll take a look at the sign. Not a problem. Not, I'm not trying to. No, no, no. It's fine. Argue with I'm not. I don't want to argue with you either. But the reason we got this posted is just this right here. This area is where civilians or anybody wants to come in. Okay. And talk to the police. I'll go in the front. All right, I came, I came from, I came from over here. Like I went around this way, so I didn't even see that so sign. Yeah. But no, I understand. Okay. I understand. I'm no problem. Out for the day. All right, thanks, Captain. I didn't catch your name. Um, What's your name? My first name's Sean. Uh, Captain. Sean? Yeah, Captain. I would, I would nice just to like meet to. You, nice to meet you too. I would like to just make a little comment on the officer over here. You know, when he came up to me, instead of de-escalating like you or the detective here, he came up to me and it was get off our property where's your id very nasty very aggressive and you know as a law enforcement officer um you know de-escalation is key it's going to help protect you guys and us as the public and honestly i got really bad vibes from him and it wasn't it's not the way you treat the public like the way you just did you showed me the sign i understand i'm not gonna i'm not trying to start any problems gotcha. i'm just saying that in the future yeah. okay. okay thank you captain you have a great day stay safe you too detective
Ooh, we got the canine, the doggy. We got the doggy. Man, that guy came up so aggressive. It was insane. I didn't even see that sign over here. Authorized personnel only beyond this point. Did not even see it. Shout out to the captain because, you know, when they have signs posted, I don't break the law. That sign isn't the law. This is still public property, but at the same time, you know, if there's a sign saying authorized personnel only, technically it's considered a restricted area. And I honestly just didn't see the sign, but you know, we could stand right here, right above the sign, right in front of the sign, excuse me. And we could record whatever we want from in front of the sign. But that's not the point. The point is that officer tried to escalate the situation. He was ready. I felt like he was ready to go hands on, to be honest with you. You know, I don't know how it's going to portray on video, but uh, definitely that's how I felt. All right, so let's go inside and uh, see the lobby. All right, so their lobby here is one of those lobbies that they just have a phone and uh, you know, I would expect that. This is a very small police department here in Kentucky. So for immediate police services, please pick up the phone for assistance. Accident reports, response reports, photo CD, fingerprints. Hi. <laughs> uh, Glasgow, Glasgow PD, Kentucky, in partnership with the citizens of Glasgow, will support and uphold the laws of the Commonwealth while providing honorable service and protection to our community. I don't think that one officer portrayed himself as honorable. 2022 to 2025 goals and objectives, obtain a new vehicle maintenance garage, develop a succession plan for all supervisors, establish weapons, cleaning, and classrooms at the firing range, transition fleet program to all SUV, look for canine replacement and patrol section, reach full staff and adding officers to 40 total, health and wellness weight room. And their values are honesty, respect, and integrity. Do not think that that officer displayed that. Definitely not respect. Didn't display that. But, um, yeah, so. We've seen all we can see from inside. Alright guys, so we're just getting out of the Glasgow Police Department here in Kentucky. I'll be the first to admit it. I made a mistake. I should have been more vigilant. I did not see the authorized personnel only sign over here. That's on me. But I want to show you this video to show you the stark contrast between an officer who escalates a situation and an officer who de-escalates the situation. So the detective, while he did make a few smart comments and saying I'm trying to bait his officer, you know, he was trying to de-escalate the situation. And if it wasn't for him, the other officer would have went hands-on immediately. I'm telling you, I'm here in person. I get the feeling I've been doing this long enough that I can I know who's the tyrants he was 100% a tyrant and the sad part is he went on his way to the streets to be a tyrant that's the sad part and the scary part if it wasn't for that detective he would have went hands-on for sure he went 0 to 100 so fast you know that's not professional behavior that's not how you treat the public even though I was technically in a restricted area. For example, the captain, she knew that I was in a restricted area. And instead of arresting me and going hands on, she decided to have a conversation with me, de-escalate, show me the sign, 
say, listen, I'm not trying to argue with you. Let's just look at the sign together. That is good policing. And that's why she's a captain. That's good policing. Because she knew I wasn't here with any ill intent to damage any of the police vehicles or anything. She knew that. So she handled the situation accordingly. But what tyrants will do is that even though they know you're not here with bad intentions, they will go hands on and arrest you. And that's what would have happened. So shout out to the captain for being professional, for showing me the sign. You know, I immediately started recording from behind the sign. We didn't have any issues after that. I shook her hand, I shook the detective's hand and the tyrant, you know, hopefully one day somebody can expose him for the tyrant he is. And you know, because He's definitely a loose cannon. I'm telling you. I'm here. I can feel it. I hope it portrays through video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. The stark contrast between the two. As always, guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. Stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island audit. Peace.